Here I have three resistors and a parallel circuit. I'm going to hook up my voltmeter to measure the voltage across every device in my circuit. Voltage has to be measured when the voltmeter is in parallel to the device you're measuring. So that makes it easy because we can just clip our probes on and we don't have to disconnect anything in our circuit. So I'm going to first check my battery. My battery has a potential difference of 50 volts. The top of my battery is 50 volts higher than the bottom. If I switch the leads, it tells me the bottom is 50 volts lower than the top. That's what the minus sign means. Now I'm going to move them over to the second item in my circuit, which is resistor number one, R1. And I can see what the voltage is, the potential difference is, across R1. Now I'll move them over to the next item in my circuit, which is R2, resistor number two in my parallel circuit. And I can take the voltage difference across that resistor. And then I can move over and measure the potential difference across R3, the third resistor in my circuit. So I get the potential difference across the battery and each of the resistors in the circuit. You'll notice when you clip on, as long as this lead is touching the conductor any place, the reading is the same. Because a perfect conductor, which is what these wires are, they have no resistance, is an equipotential surface. They, it has the same potential everywhere. So if the bottom of my battery, if I call that zero volts, this whole wire, the whole conductor along here is going to be zero volts. And any time I touch my probe, it's going to reference to zero being this voltage. Play around with it yourself and see if you get a feel for it.